Good morning, everybody. I am so proud of myself. I was able to go to Dollar Tree and then forget my wallet, come back home, get my wallet, go back, pay for my stuff, go to Walmart, do my little grocery pickup, and come back home. And I walk back in the door about 9.30. 9.30, you guys got my same parking spot. I'm so excited. Um, good morning, everyone. I am here to share with you what I uh, got at the Target, I mean, uh, Walmart grocery pickup and what I got at uh, Dollar Tree. Um, so anyway, there were a couple items at Dollar Tree that I wanted. And of course, you know, that ends up being a whole lot of stuff. Um, I am going to pause you guys because I need to go get the two things that I went for and then you'll see what I ended up walking out with. And now my tea kettle is going and so I need to go pour <laughs> the coffee. Okay, um, even though I was only a minute into it, I could have just restarted the whole video, but I wanted to test to see how it comes out when I pause my videos. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's why I did that. So anyway, so the main reason why I wanted to go to uh, Dollar Tree were because of these. I seen, oh, is it Thrifty Tiffany? Um, haul these at Dollar Tree. I think she had gotten other colors, but you guys, I know they just did a coffee bar and um, recently had a collaboration and um, these would have been perfect to go on that coffee collaboration, but um, things just ain't right here. I need to get my house together and situated. Um, so I couldn't do it. And so anyway, I did do these. I'll probably do my own little coffee collaboration or my own little coffee um, video. Uh, you know, like coffee area station video when I get my things together uh, here. So yeah, this is this one says our farmhouse. These glasses aren't for reading; they're for distance only. So I can't see nothing when I wear these. When I, it's hard to see farm sweet farm. It's hard to see when I'm reading with these glasses, but I only put them on because distance. I look outside or, you know, I can see. <laughs> so anyway, that's these two. And I thought these were really cute. This is my favorite one right here. I don't know why, because it has like them stacked up on top of each other. I don't know. I think that's so cute. And then this is cute too. But they had different colors. They had like a, like a peppermint green. Um, they had a pink. Oh, I can't remember the other colors they had. But they were really cute. So, um, yeah, and I ended up finding those. Um, you know, they have the little stand when you walk in, and they have the little signs and the little, um, you know, like the little prayer verses. And, you know, like the little, it's kind of like a separate little stand that they put the little glass figure mean things on there. Well, that's where I found those. So I'm going to get into the Dollar Tree haul real quick. Um, it's a lot of stuff. It's going to be Dollar Tree and a Walmart grocery haul. Um, again, I'm just sharing with you guys what I got. So the first thing I got was the sugar-free peppermints candies. They're like York peppermint patties, but they're sugar-free. Of course, there's tons of sugar in there. Um, you just have to have one because <laughs> it says three per servings. Per servings is 26 grams of carbs, which is a lot. Um, and let's see, two grams of fiber. So if you take off, that's 24. But still, I would only have one at a time. And I bought some more of these. These are my drink of choice. However, my neighbor did give me some lemons the other day, and I was able to make fresh lemonade. Oh, it was so good. My mom has a lemon tree, and when we were little, we used to make lemon, lemonade all the time. It just reminds me of summer. Oh, my gosh, it was so nice. I made a big pitcher. She gave me, like, five lemons. So, yeah, I made lemonade yesterday. There's just a little left, so I'm like, mm. But I sure did enjoy that. It just reminded me when I was a child, the summertime. You know, it just reminds me of the summer. Um, so I did buy some of these. I'm not sure. I think I bought four of these. 
and they're just the little drink things you put in your bottle of water. I usually just get a cup, put them in there, and put some ice. I did buy some of these. These aren't the greatest thing to have, but I'm tired of cooking every day. <laughs> There's days that I just don't feel like cooking, and I guess, you know, it's probably better than having fast food. But um, the carbs on this is 24 grams, dietary fiber is 3, so technically 21 grams. It's servings per container, too. So you really got to watch that. So if I have this, usually I'll have this. Um, I, I would usually have the whole thing, which is too much, you know, um, too many calories. But it'll be good to have it like on the with a salad on the side or with on a bed of greens or whatever. You know, you have to get creative. I'm taking my glasses off because I'm starting to sweat. And... I bought a couple of these. Sometimes I will have this with um, my coffee in the morning as breakfast. And I think the last time I got um, banana or something like that. And this, no, I got peanut butter. This time I got blueberry. And I always make it a point to grab cat food every time I go <laughs> for Miley. And... Yes, I went there again. Peanut butter. I try to keep peanut butter in the house. It's better than having cookies and candy and cake. <laughs> and let's see. I bought Glad um, sandwich bags. I ran out of sandwich bags. Sometimes, excuse me, sometimes when I'm thawing chicken, it's just me. And sometimes when I have this big thing of chicken and I'm thawing it, I'll sometimes separate it with um, the big, like in half, and I'll put put the half of it in the big glad bag. Or sometimes I'll just season a couple of pieces and put them in a smaller bag and then pull them out and cook them. You know, when you live alone, you learn how to cook for just one. And I got some of these flab tied um, trash bags. Never have enough of those. At the register, they had alcohol, 70%, and it was only limited one per customer. And I just happened to buy Tylenol because I guess that's the thing to buy right now. <laughs> I try to keep Tylenol in the house anyway. And I bought eyeliner just before uh, we were quarantined or um, house arrest. No, I'm just playing. Just be before we were ordered to stay at home. Um, stay at home order. There it is. Um, I had ran out of eyeliner going to work, so I said, you know what? Let me pick it up now. It can be ready when we go back. Got these for Zoe. This is the little figurine for, was that Nemo? Yeah, Nemo. It's a shame I don't know who's who. I, have to, I don't know. I don't know why. Impulse buy. I don't know why, but I just thought these were pretty neat. They're racers. And they're puzzles. I just thought they were really cool. So I grabbed those. And yeah, there's a second can of this. And I've told you guys plenty of time about these. No carb. And they're the ice sparkling drinks. These are wonderful in the summertime. I'm going to put these. I bought two of these. I'm going to put them in the freeze, the refrigerator. And again, I bought four of the... Jamaican patties. Um, told you guys about these. I buy them. There's like seven to a pack, and there's 24 grams of um, of carbs and with three dietary fibers, so it's 21 grams of um, carbohydrates. And so I'll usually have this. Usually I have this with a bag, like one of these. The entire thing. I uh, yes, I'll eat the entire thing of veggies. And, um, you know, just to have that veggie backup. So I'll have this. And I'll well, steam these in the microwave, put a little bit of salt on them, and then I'll cook these separate and then these, have these with them. You know, when you live alone, you could do that. Um, also, I bought some cream of chicken condensed soup. I bought this to make uh, chicken. The other day I made a chicken and I... Um, Basically cooked it. Oh, I forgot garbanzo beans, but I don't think Dollar Tree has them anyway. But I like to put um, this over my um, over my chicken and bake it, and it turns out so good, you guys. 
And again, I bought another one of these. Bought two vegetables. And I think that's it. I already told you guys I had bought. Um, I did buy two of these. And then also I bought a Dora. Isn't that cute? Zoe's going to like that. So that's those. Let me put these aside. The other stuff has got to go to the refrigerator. And I should have started with the other one and then put that away. But So then you guys are going to move on to Target. Um, Target, or not Target, I keep saying Target, Walmart. Walmart, I usually go on the app and I do my order. It's a limit of $30. And I do my order and I schedule it. Like, say, for instance, today... Um, I scheduled this Friday date on Saturday and that's how you get the weekend ones because they pretty much book all the way through the week so today I might submit my order for either Friday and st or next Friday or Saturday um, yeah so what you do is you just go I mean I'm pretty sure you guys have done it you go to the designated spot you have a number they're gonna email you when you're stuff is ready you click on there you let them know what number you're at and let them know the color of your car and they come out with a cart with your groceries and so I did it this is the second time I'm doing it it's a wonderful thing I love it I don't have to get out of the car although although I do sit in the car thinking God, I wish I could go in there <laughs> I didn't on my last video when I said I was gonna go the next day to Walmart I ended up not going because I have to remind myself Leave the house only when it's essentially necessary. And I feel like going to look at clearance and stuff like that is not essential. And I don't want to jeopardize my health going to Walmart for something that's not even essential. So, with that said, I didn't go. Um, I try to leave the house once a week. <laughs> okay, and so this week I ordered the turkey breast tenderloin. I saw a recipe for this. Um, I want to try it. Um, the ones at Aldi's, they give you flavor packets um, to do them. Um, and I don't like the lemon one. that I tried the lemon one. It was another one I tried I didn't like. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to get my own and go on Pinterest <laughs> and do it in my slow cooker and see how it turns out. Uh, get a recipe off Pinterest. My coffee keeps shaking. One moment. I'm going to take a sip. And also, I got my avocados. You guys, yesterday I used my last avocado that I bought. Um, I made an avocado spinach smoothie. It was the bomb. Let me tell you. It's avocado, a half avocado, spinach. Um, I didn't have cucumber. And then I put, I put um, a little bit of almond milk and a little bit of coconut milk. About half and half. Um, about maybe half cup coconut milk, half cup um, almond milk. And I put in the blender with a piece of ice. Oh, it was so good. I put one Splenda in there. Yes, you guys. I have a little sweetness in there, but it was so good. Anyway. Um, also, I bought a ground chicken. I also saw a recipe online for chicken buffalo, buffalo chicken meatballs. And I saw somebody doing a recipe with that. So I said, you know what? I normally don't buy ground chicken because I don't like the taste of it. It's kind of dry to me. But I think I'm going to try that um, buffalo recipe with that. Also, can't get enough of this. Blueberries. <coughs> Blueberries with my infamous whipped cream. Dessert for me. Put down some, you know, wash some blueberries real good. You guys, I wiped, by the way, I wiped everything with Lysol wipes before I started doing this haul. Um, so when I come in immediately, I stripped down my clothes, go in, went in the bathroom, took a shower, um, and then I came back in here and I started wiping down every last bit of my items, even this. I wiped the container, but when it comes to washing it, I will wash it in hot, hot water um, as I use them because I don't want them to go bad fast. But yeah, this, and then I put a dollop of uh, whipped cream on top. And so that's that. Bought three bananas. <laughs> I'm glad they made them green. And I bought four cans of my best French style. These were these were on clearance for 50 cents too. 
and they're the French cut uh, green beans and I should have got more of these I got four but I should have bought more then you guys I bought about eight different flavors of the sugar-free jello I love these they have no carbs um, again sometimes I'll put a dollop of uh, whipped cream on the jello as well um, but jello is very filling to me and when I diet and um, I have jello it's like I can eat jello and just be stuffed I mean I'd still eat like a salad or something healthy but this really does the job and it's perfect during the summertime keeps me cool so I got like maybe eight of those I think I got raspberry um, peach cherry I don't like strawberry I don't like strawberries and I don't like strawberry anything I bought two things of the shredded cheese um, and that's it just all my little jello so I didn't get too much from there um, again they do have a limit of um, $30 that you have to spend in order to do the little pickup which I have no problem doing <laughs> no problem um, so my next one I did forget cat litter and I forgot coffee creamer so I usually get the big thing of coffee creamer so I think the next time I'm gonna put those, that on there and then I'm gonna put my cat litter on there and then I try to keep up on my ground turkey and chicken I got plenty of chicken in there from last time so I'm not even gonna just, my freezer is packed so um, yeah and I mean that's not bad $30 a week for one person and really I probably will skip the week after next week. If I, if I didn't need cat litter and I didn't need coffee creamer, I would probably skip next week. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and order that. <laughs> and then, oh, and um, vitamin. Did I order? No, the vitamins I ordered online on, um, on Amazon. So, but anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me. I hope everybody is doing, a, um, doing amazing. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope... All of your family and loved ones are okay. If not, my condolence, uh, condol I can never say that word. My prayers go <laughs> go out to um, any of the families that have lost anyone or currently has someone sick or is sick themselves. My prayers go out to you. I think that's probably the hardest thing for me is knowing that there's so many people dying and just it breaks my heart and I feel like after all this is over it's just I mean I, it's it's beyond words you know the, the amount of people that are dying you know and the nurses and doctors that put their life on the line knowing their families are at home and can get any you know can get sick and they you know they're they're doing this for us. They're, I mean, out of this whole thing, I think medical workers are amazing. I mean, it's it's just beyond words, you know, that they would risk their lives for for us. And I just, you know, I I, I tear up a lot. I tear up a lot about. A lot of things you know one thing I tear up a lot about is my mom if she was alive she goes to dialysis you guys I'm so hot she go she used to go to dialysis three times a week and my mama had breathing problems and among a host of a whole lot of other problems and she was 88 years old and let me tell you I don't think she would have survived it I really don't if if the corona didn't get her then the stress, because she's, stress, she's a stressor like I am, and I need to be careful of that, because she stresses about everything. And it, it, it just, you know, that's one thing I'm glad I just didn't, don't have to see my mom stress and go through it, because I'm sure it would have taken her. Um, nonetheless, I miss my mom so much, but I know that she's in a better place, and she's doing way better than we are. Way better. So that's what holds me together is that she is not suffering anymore. She's okay. And she's looking down to us and she's praying for us. And 
you know, we just, we have to continue to pray for our medical workers, our, you know, grocery store workers, um, you know, bus drivers, um, you know, the mailman or the postal person, um, UPS, FedEx, um, the garden, just everybody, you know, as I go to Walmart today, there was tons of people out, but, you know, I just noticed certain people that are, you know, essential workers, you know, that we need, like, we really need them, you know, and today in um, LA County, we, they kind of, you know, lifted some of the restrictions today on this Friday, which I, if the deaths are going up, why would we do that? I don't understand it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, it's like they're saying, whatever, people are going to die anyway. We don't care about those that are sick. We don't care about those that are old. We don't care about those that are at high risk. Oh, well, if they go, they go. So we're just going to go ahead and open up because money is, the priority right now. And I get that people, you know, are losing their jobs and things like that, but I'm sorry, to me, a life is worth more than that. And, um, I just, I, I'm going to leave it at that. So anyway, <laughs> you guys continue to stay safe, stay at home, um, and just pray for all of our essential workers. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.